About where you wanted to be? Or? Nah, no. I was uh, hoping for a high 440. But, uh, <laughs> Is that what you've been running when you've been working out? Mm -hmm. High 440? You didn't run the 48 at the time? Or the you did just about everything else down there, didn't you? Yeah. Is there a reason you didn't run down there? Just uh, freshen up on my start, more consistency on my start for the 40. So did you kind of see today as a big day then? Kind of keep oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was all right. You know, I'm disappointed. I'm just happy I you know, get it done, get some good looks, and you know, hopefully, you know, I know I know the payoff. So just got a lot of waiting now. <laughs> are you gonna do any individual workouts or are you gonna do anything else? Oh yeah, I got. Uh, well, I'm flying up to uh, Philadelphia on the 6th and 7th of April for a uh, visit. And uh, cowboy fan can't go. <laughs> <laughs> So we'll wait to see after if I get any more visits. I'm sure, some lineup. So just wait until then. A lot of waiting. Yeah. What kind of feedback are you getting on the 40? I mean, is there a huge difference between a high 4-4 like you're talking about, or maybe a 4-5, 4-6? Uh, I don't really know. Uh, you know, there's good ranges between the 4 fours and the 4-5. So, uh -huh. you, know, you know, hopefully, you know, my game, my game tape will help me out more. Are you satisfied at this point? You have a few of the workouts, but you feel like you, you can do that. Oh, yeah, I mean, it was, it was good, you know, after season uh, workouts, just going to see him ball and doing well, and going to combine, putting up some big numbers there, and uh, coming here and finish it off. And, uh, you know, it looks good right now, so we just have to wait and see. It's on the teams now. Do you have any idea what teams are especially interested in? Uh, it's a lot, right? It's up in the air right now. I said the Eagles. I talked to half the team while I were in the uh, senior ball in the combine, so you never know what they're looking for. Just, it only takes one now. So. What were all the uh, interview processes like at the combine? It, was, it sounds like when they're talking on, on the NFL network, that's becoming a really important part of the combine. Oh, yeah, the interrogation period. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it, was, it was pretty heavy in there. You know, they accent it from everything from past girlfriends and <laughs> failures in life uh -huh. and things like that. Isn't that the same thing? <laughs> <laughs> I had some of those, so yeah. <laughs> I definitely went back into the regrets and stuff in life, so but uh, it was it was good. It was pretty it was pretty easy for me, you know, I don't really have no no background history of anything illegal or lock ups or suspension, so it was <laughs> you remember what the Eagles asked you? What the Eagles asked yeah. me? They all asked me about uh, just my family, they want to know like your personal stuff. I mean, they pretty much know what you can do on the field, so they most of the questions are about family. Is that something that you get prepared for? I, mean, I know that athletes get prepared before the combine. Not like oh, you get prepared for so definitely do. questions, yeah. yeah. That's kind of, oh, yeah, definitely. It's more about how you come across answering that. <laughs> and, you know, they do a lot of background checks on you, too, so it helps you if you had a clean rap sheet. It does help. <laughs> yeah. Especially after last offseason. Oh, yeah, definitely. So.